Home sharing giant Airbnb's general manager for Middle East and Africa, Hadi Musa, told Hotelier Middle East in a recent interview that the company is not encroaching on the hotel market stake in the cities it operates in. This week, we're going to look at Airbnb and its expansion plans in the Middle East. I'm Strakshi Rai, this is Shishar Srinivas, and you're watching What's Trending on Hotelier Middle East. Now, Musa pointed out that more than 89% of Airbnb's users choose to stay outside key hotel districts in a given city. Now, this diversification in source market is also changing the tourism perspective in places like Dubai. He also noted that there has been a lot of growth since the company's debut 10 years ago. Now, here's what he had to say in a recent interview. I mean, we see in general that Airbnb brings kind of diversification in the types of tourists uh, and types of travelers that it can bring to a destination. When, when we've done a lot of surveys globally to understand kind of why are people using Airbnb, and in general, over 90% of people say they use Airbnb because they want to live like a local. Um, over 89% actually stay outside of the key hotel um, districts. Um, and so we really believe that, and you know, many people, over 30% of people actually say that they would not have traveled or not stayed as long had it not been for Airbnb. So we really believe that Airbnb is kind of helping diversify the offering um, and, you know, bringing kind of incremental tourists to a destination. Um, in the specific case of Dubai, uh, it's also very interesting from a diversification perspective if you look at the types of listings that are also available. So it goes from, you know, the small studio apartment to a one, two bed apartment to a villa to a luxury apartment. So this kind of diversification helps bring different types of travelers to the region and really help grow the pie in a way from a tourism perspective. So in his interview, what were some of the important points that he brought up? So besides the diversification of source market, Musa said that the company has also stirred up business for small boutique hotels here in the Middle East across the globe at, because earlier this year in February, the company partnered with SiteMinder. It's a cloud platform for hotels looking to attract guests. Uh, referring to the partnership, Musa said that the company already has a growing list of partnerships with small hotels here in the Middle East. And, you know, this has something to add to the offerings here in the Middle East. Now, expansion is also on the cards for Airbnb as well, isn't it? Yes. So Musa also told Hotel in Middle East that, you know, during uh, Airbnb, which is also, you know, it's its 10th year um, since its debut, that it will be exploring new options such as adding um, new things to the new feature Airbnb experiences. And it has uh, its eyes set on growth within this region, such as plans to capitalize on the 25 million plus visitors that are you know, expected to visit this Emirate during Expo 2020. And also it wants to establish a strong foothold in Saudi Arabia, which the company is looking at as the next emerging market. And most importantly, they want to spread the concept of home sharing here in the Middle East. So big plans ahead for Airbnb. Now back in 2016, Airbnb also signed a memorandum of understanding with Dubai Tourism. Now what was the point of that, that partnership? So this deal was to encourage responsible hosting within the Emirate as well as to promote tourism diversification. And Airbnb right now has 5 million listings globally across 191 countries and you know in 81,000 cities. Now Dubai has also been named as the fifth most expensive city in the world for Airbnb listings in a new global index. Now this is a, because of a combination of high hotel and apartment costs, strong tourism, and Airbnb rates in some Gulf cities, including Dubai, Riyadh, and Kuwait City, are among the world's priciest, according to the latest Bloomberg Index. Yes, and Dubai's short-term rentals averaged 185 US dollars a night in Bloomberg's index. It's a reflection of high hotel rates in a city where more than 70% of hotel rooms are four-star or above, and Dubai's supply of Airbnb units more than doubled to 3,249 units in the two years ended you know, by August 2017. Um, it was following a relaxation of the government regulations for Airbnb. And also the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between yes. Dubai Tourism. Now to see our full interview with Hadi Musa, the general manager of Airbnb in the Middle East and Africa region, head to our YouTube channel. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and tune in next week once again. I'm Strakshi Rai, this is Shishar Shinivas, and thanks so much for watching this week.